Hello you. This, as you can plainly see, is Motorcycle on the Atari 7800. 1990. Ooh, weird time in my head, 1990 for Atari games. I was still perfectly happy with Commodore 64 and Friends had Amigas, I think. Struggling to remember back now. So, so long ago, isn't it? This music is odd and a bit slow, it seems. Right. I've no idea really much about this. I'm assuming... No, it's way before Road Rash, isn't it? Or is it? 1990. I, I can't remember now. Uh, is this Hang On or is this... Um, okay, we've got four tracks. That one looks the simplest. I think we'll start with that. Yeah, Hang On or Road Rash? What, what, I'll have to, I'd have to look up to see. I mean, Outrun was mid-80s and... No, okay. Oh. Fire to accelerate. Push forward to change gear. That's a good start, isn't it? Come on. Fire, accelerate. Hey. Looks alright for the time. I guess, I mean, let's face it. Crazy Cars 2 looked worse than this. It came out much later. I'm in high gear, aren't I? Yes. Right. It's a nice, heady track effect. I, I quite like that. Take my finger off the accelerator to go around the corner. That actually helps. What were those things on the road? Oh, that's not good. Let's change gear. There's cones, I'm guessing. But, oh. Whoop. Blimey, I made a lap. I'm not going to make a second one, am I? Whoa, what happened there? This, this is kind of fun. Something feels a little basic, but I mean, it's better than any bike game I played on the 64. Oh, explosions! And two sets of handlebars and two sets of well, that, that's nice. It's not just a generic one explosion. It knew how many vehicles were involved. I'm not going to make the. What was that on? Are those mines or something? Or, or, Come on. Damn it, I'm not going to get past this lot now, am I? Four seconds to go. Where's... I... Blimey. Okay, really wasn't expecting that. Yeah, maybe getting in line before the uh, corner comes in. Oop. Didn't work there, did it? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Outrun mid-80s... Out Hang on, probably mid mid eighties, late eighties. This coming out in nineteen ninety. Oh, bum! Does it automatically change gear for me? Come on, come on, come on! Oh, that time is ticking down. Oh my God! Have I got to wait for the wheels to stop? Oh, that's that's a bit annoying then. Oh, oh that's a that's for doing jumps then. Okay. Well, I passed six bikes, and I got a high school, and it's game over. Oh well, straighten, turn, what? Okay, well, let's have a look at the next one. Anyway, uh, yeah, bike games on the 64. I never played, um, I, hang on, didn't come out, did it, I don't think. Uh, I never played Enduro Racer, because I remember the reviews for it said it was terrible, and it looked terrible from the screenshots as well, so I've never bothered with that. Still haven't to this day. Um, Uh, Super Cycle is supposed to be quite good, but I've never played it. So I ought to try that at some point, I guess. Stop accelerating, Rob. Ah, um, well, shoot out the, screen, out the screen so I can get back on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Mm -hmm. a dangerous place to restart there. Those bikes appear to be in the air there, but I still think it's quite a good hilly effect. Considering it wasn't really until... Ooh, road rash came out that I saw stuff like that away. Ooh, well, that's quite advanced. It's all oh, bump. We're getting advanced now. We're getting corners going the other way, not just round to the left all the time. Damn it! 
I was looking up to see what my time was, and then looked down and saw, oh, corner, and went slamming straight in the back of that guy. And we're still, no, nope, we're going, I'm not making me this one though, am I? Something tells me this will be a short video. It's a nice main spray, I'll, I'll say that, I, I quite like that. The rest of the scenery, mm, well, there isn't really much scenery, is there? People will be saying, this much brown, you must be perfectly at home, Commodore 64 boy. I'm not seeing any cones or jump things on, on this track. Or the end of the track, either, I'm not saying. Mm. Oh well. I still passed three. I'll take that as a win, thanks. Yeah, come on, that's the next one. Ooh, Ori it's just, it's just orangey brown and red. Rather well, than say brown and red. Can I get past them before the first corner, whatever that is? There we go. Oh, heck. So what makes him a psycho then? The fact that he's jumping all over the place? He's, he, I'm not seeing any really psychotic behaviour. Well, actually, that guy was just flying off the track there. Oh, this is this is annoying. Okay, I liked the uh, to start with, but it having to finish before you get back on your bike, that seems more of an irritation than a cool thing, though. Um, ooh, just made it through them all, and uh, now I'm going to hit a sign instead, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, that's the end of that, isn't it? What's this straighten 20 turn 10 up at the top right all about? Five seconds, can I? I have no idea where the end of the track is, but we've got a lot of corners here. That's not helping that, is it? Oh, I passed four that time, so I'm doing better. And track four then, let's see what track four is all about. It's sort of Dijon mustard land. Um, yeah, I fluffed the uh, gear change on that one, didn't I? Oh, but took one of them out. <clears throat> I tried to think what this would have looked like. This. See, I mean, sea of brown. I've got some. I've got jail bars going on, but can you imagine? Oops, change gear. Well, stop talking and change gear. But I don't think what this would have looked like on RF. This is running on a. I'd say it's a stock. Um, what's happened to my fire button? Oh no! I mean, look. Come on. My my button has fallen into the pad. That's that's not good. Um, the other button is. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> you won't be able to see this. I've not got enough lights on, but um, he's in one of those. And that left button has just disappeared inside the pad. And this right button doesn't see, appear to be a standard fire. And I do not know where my other controllers are right now. Oh, you, uh, I thought, this one's out, I'll, I'll use this one, because I've not used this one. For, yeah, th there's a reason I've not used this one much. I think it needs a bit of work. He says he thinks it needs a bit of work. But there's... Yep, can I pop it? Because the case is slightly loose, that's the problem, I think. It's missing. must be missing a screw, or the screw's broken. In. Nope. Well, there we go. We'll, we'll knock it on the head there. This this will be a very short one then. Maybe I'll come back to Motorcycle when I've got a um, pad that isn't about to fall apart in my hands. Um, push up to accelerate. You can't do up to accelerate. They've done fire to accelerate, which normally you'd say, yep, that's great. But in this case, no, not so much. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I know I have two other... Yeah, the joypad style controllers around, and I have all sorts of other controllers around, but not necessarily Atari 7800 ones. So, yeah, I, th I think we'll end there on that one. <laughs> Bit of a quickie, but there we go. Uh, it's it, it looks nice, I think. I mean, the scenery is bland, but yeah, then it can't chuck stuff around. The, the sprites and everything all look good. Actually, I just thought there was that Speed King game on um, 
C64 I played, wasn't there? There I am saying, not playing any bike games. Speed King was okay, I think. And this this seemed nice, but not really any fancier than something like Speed King, or even Formula One Simulator on the 64. And they were budget games, and this, I dread to think how much a 7800 game cost. You're probably talking 30 quid, aren't you? Uh, mm. See, I think this is possibly why, again, didn't pay much attention to the Atari 7800 when it was out because I was perfectly happy with the C64 and why would I want to spend silly money on a console that where the games cost ten times as much and weren't really any better. Hmm. Generally they look a bit nicer but not worth that much money. Not when the same money you've got the Mega Drive coming out soon and the Snares was on its way in 1990. Hmm. Trying to think what other consoles were out in 1990. I mean, the Master System, was it? But, uh, yeah, just Commodore 64 to Amiga, and I was still perfectly happy with Commodore 64 at this point. So, hmm. But there we go, enough rambling. We've had a little bit of gaming, and we've had uh, probably an equal amount of rambling. So there we go, that's Motor Psycho on the Atari 7800. Hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta. Here we go. Can we see the problem here? I don't know if you can see the problem here, but I can in that... Yeah. That is kind of all loose in there and should not be. Oh, now it's working. Now it's working. Yeah, so I need to... Yeah. Look at why that screw's not doing its job because it's got two screws in the underside but it's uh, not held together at the end so the buttons pop out of their sockets yeah Let's see if I can... yeah. yeah this is a uh, this is a job to do another time I think but I just thought I'd show you yeah there we go and that button is oh now it's now it's working now it's working but yeah, need to keep that held so something's broken inside. Maybe a blob of glue in there, I don't know. And this other button doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, now it's not, now I can't push it in. It's jammed on something on the interior inside. So that's, oh, now it's, there we go. Fiddly, fiddly. I have no idea what that right button does. It doesn't seem to do anything. You'd think they'd make both buttons the same, so it's good for left and right handed people. <coughs> Excuse me, but there we go. There you go, you've got a free sneeze into the bargain as well. Uh, yeah, so there we go. I'll have to fix this at some point. Tickly those, tickly those. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Where's that come from? Yeah, so I'll have to fix that. Oh, the joys of retro gaming, eh? Yeah. Well, there we go. Like I said, hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta.